ביל חתמה. ביל חדמה. או ביל חתמה. ביל חדמה, now live on סאוט אל רנד. Dominic Curry, a vibrant, healthy five-year-old, was riding his scooter at daycare on the 7th of November 2014 when he suddenly collapsed and went into cardiac arrest. How is Dominic doing today? Six months later, joins me on the phone his dad, Anthony Curry. Anthony, thanks for your time. Thank you, Laura. Tell me, what happened on the 7th of November? On the 7th of November, it's the day that changed our family's life forever. I happened to be working at home on that day, on that morning. I took Dominic to daycare early in that morning. He was perfectly fine. He, there was no signs of distress. He didn't show any signs of um, being uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. I did tell him I'd see him later that afternoon, and he was bubbly and being his normal self. I go back home, and an hour later, my wife receives a phone call, and the next thing I know, there was screaming, and then she had said to me that Dominic has been in an emergency. There's been an emergency at his daycare. So we quickly raced to the daycare, and... There were paramedics, emergency vehicles, the care flight. Uh, there was everybody there, and we just didn't know. We were confused, didn't know what was going on. So when we, were, when we got out of the vehicle, as soon as the police officer approached us, I think our, our hearts just dropped, and we just didn't know what to think then and there. And we were advised that uh, our son has, has collapsed, and the paramedics were working frantically, or they were working to, to um, stabilize him. Mm. And I think that's when... We thought the worst. The paramedics had advised me that he had suffered a cardiac arrest and they were working to revive him and to, to get his heart starting again. And then there were about 20 paramedics uh, working around him nonstop just to get his, his heart going. And I think that's, that's the moment that I felt like we lost him. We, we, we lost our son. He's, he's not going to make it through. How long was it before you were told, congratulations, the little fighter survived? It was not until we got to the hospital, Lara, that we were told that he was actually, um, they actually managed to restart his heart. Because mm. when we left the daycare, at that moment, he still wasn't uh, breathing on his own. So it, was the, it would have been the longest 10 minutes of our lives, not knowing whether our son was alive or not. And it was only until we reached the hospital that the lead paramedic came to us and said to us, we managed to revive your son. However, his heart rate was still at low. They, had, they managed to stabilize him, but he was still in the critical condition. The surgeon then came, approached us and advised us that he will need an ECMO machine, which um, takes over the functions of the heart and lungs. Mm-hmm. And because his heart was under a lot of distress mm. and his heart um, was unable to pump blood on its own, so they quickly raced him to the operating theater to have him on that machine that gives his heart a chance and lungs to, to be able to work on their own and get back to their normal mm. functionality. Anthony, what is Dominic's condition now? Dominic's current condition is left him, uh, due to the cardiac arrest, uh, it's left him with a hypoxic brain injury mm. and the hypoxic brain injury means that the brain had lack of oxygen. So it's left him with a disability and unable to do things on his own. So he's unable to walk, unable to talk, unable to eat on his own. In that case, he requires 24-7 care from myself and my wife and just around the clock and persistent rehabilitation Mm -hmm. to one day get him back on his feet. Is it possible? So were you promised by doctors that he could rehabilitate 100% and go back to, um, to, to where he was? Doctors don't give you a guarantee, though, unfortunately. They, mm. All they tell you is his current condition, his current situation. The only recommendation that's been um, given to us is being persistent and intense therapy. The key to Dominic's uh, recovery is early intervention, mm-hmm. and early intervention includes um, the stimulation of the brain, and this includes uh, therapy, that w- which we are currently doing with Dominic, on a week-in, week-out basis. Mm-hmm. Have you noticed any um, progress in Dom's recovery since the accident? So that's six months now. Yes, in the in the six months that Dominic's been discharged from hospital, we've noticed that he's actually made some slight progress, and the progress that he's made is that he's actually responsive to or he responds to voices and sounds and noises so he dominic hasn't lost his um hearing and his memory Mm -hmm. so um he's able to recognize voices and people around him and he does he's able to move his hands and legs on his own he's able to do a lot of a lot of movements on his own and that includes that includes moving his heads and moving towards 
the sound and where, where, where the sounds are coming from. So they're positive signs. Mm-hmm. However, it, it is a long road and we just got to keep that going. And How does Dominic communicate to you? Does he express if he's happy, he's upset, he's hungry? As Dominic is unable to talk to us, mm. Dominic's way of communicating to us is through his smile mm. and laughing. So uh, in order for us to get uh, a response from him, we'd have to ask him a a yes or no question and if it's a yes, it's something that he wants, then mm. he would give us a, a big smile and that's the, that's the way of us knowing that's what he wants. If he doesn't want it then he won't he won't respond. He'll just he'll just um keep quiet. But if he's if he wants something he'll give us a big smile and that's the way at the moment of Dom communicating to us through his mm-hmm. through his smile. Anthony you're speaking to us today from hospital. Why? While Tomic was in hospital uh prior to discharge a feeding tube was inserted through his nose down into his stomach and that tube is used to to be able to feed him and also administer his medication. Last Wednesday, Dominic was admitted to hospital to have that tube removed from his nose and the, uh, the tube reinserted directly into his stomach. The positive of having the tube removed from the nose is that A, the tube, there's not always the risk of the tube keep coming out because every time the tube comes out, you have to race to the hospital to get it reinserted. And the tube that has been inserted in his nose is not obstructing his face and uh, it gets in the way. So having the tube hidden under his shirt um, leaves his face free and able to see his his beautiful face again. Great, great. Um, Anthony, Dominic faces a long and hard road to recovery, which requires extensive rehabilitation. What are the stages of this rehabilitation? We have been highly recommended of a rehabilitation center in the U.S., which, um, which from experience from others, uh, they've seen dramatic results. The center offers five-hour intense therapy per day, five days a week, mm. whereas in Australia, we only offered four hours of rehabilitation per week. So there's a big difference in terms of the hours of rehabilitation that's, that's on offer. Mm-hmm. And the facilities and equipment that are on offer over in the U.S. is not readily available for patients here in Australia, which mm-hmm. is why we've been given um, strong recommendations to take Domic over to the US as um, a previous patient had benefited dramatically through intense therapy over there. Mm-hmm. Is that the Napa Center? The Napa Center in Los Angeles, yes. The Napa Center in Los Angeles is what's been recommended to us. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And what, what costs are you looking at? Well, the cost uh, per treatment we're looking at is 30000 um, per treatment, and it has been recommended to us that Dominic does three sessions. So mm-hmm. our, our target um, for the three sessions plus his ongoing therapy here in Australia, we're looking at in, in excess of $100,000. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So three treatments at the Napa Center in Los Angeles um, at $30,000 roughly each. Per Per, per, per treatment, treatment three, yes. plus plus um, his treatment in Australia, is any of this money reimbursed? Are you getting any form of assistance? The only the Australian uh, the treatment we get we get subsidised through our health insurance health mm. fund. Mm. But we, it's a it's a small amount, and the the gap is is paid out of our own pocket. Mm-hmm. But, but the, 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 the treatment in America, yeah. the, the overseas treatment is not covered by the government nor our health fund. It's, it's out of our own pocket. So, Anthony, we're looking at over $100,000 in costs. It's a figure that is hardly affordable by any average family living in Sydney. How will you pay that money? In order to help with Dominic's rehabilitation, both here and overseas, we have set up uh, a fundraising site, uh, which allows uh, people to help contribute to uh, towards uh, mm-hmm. Dominic's uh, rehabilitation. Mm-hmm. And a website has been set up, um, www.digfordominic.com. Dot squarespace.com. Within that site, it gives a, a, a description of, of Dominic's history and where he's at at the moment. That's digfordominic.squarespace.com. Digfordominic.squarespace.com. How much have you raised so far and what's the target? With everyone's generous support, we've managed to raise so far uh, $43,000. Our target is $110,000, which again incorporates the three trips that's been recommended for Dominic, plus his ongoing therapy here in Sydney. Mm-hmm. So we still need. We still need. We still need in excess of sixty thousand dollars to reach our target mm-hmm. for Dominic's ongoing rehabilitation.
We still need an excess of $60,000. Dig deep. Dig for Dominic. Dig for Dominic.squarespace.com. Please donate generously. Dominic um, fought it bravely for his life, and it is our responsibility to fight for his rehabilitation. Anthony, one last question. On the page, there was a very, very um, touching post with the photo of a few coins and 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 the post said um jamie dominic's best friend gave his mom lara all his school lunch money to help get dominic better who is jamie jamie is dominic's uh, friend who he's known for for quite some years but my wife and jamie's mom uh, met through mother's group mm -hmm. and we've formed a strong friendship We don't see Jamie and his family as friends. We see them as, as our own family, and they've been nothing but uh, great and supportive um, throughout, throughout this ordeal. And Jamie really misses his uh, best friend in a big way, and he's, he's dug deep himself, saved his pocket money, and raised, uh, collected money from his family to give, his, uh, to give it all towards Dominic's recovery, and that, 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 that's very touching. Mm -hmm. Good on you, Jamie. Good on you, Lara. And um, a big salute to everyone who has contributed to the rehabilitation of Dominic. Anthony, thank you very much today. Lara, thank you for taking the time for this interview. And to all the listeners out there, thank you to all who have contributed towards Dominic cause. 100% of all donations will go towards Dominic's uh, ongoing rehabilitation. And thank you all once again. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Anthony, and um, God willing, we will interview Dominic when um, when he feels better. We'll definitely see you in the studio here, um, yes, inshallah. inshallah. Because a fighter like him will definitely um, make it to recovery. Thank you very much, Anthony. Thanks for your time again.